three, two, one. Ah! 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 Please, what is my life? Lamb. Oh. Brains. Oh, oh yes. Pop the gelatinous flesh in. Oh dude, you mm. gotta stop saying that J word. <laughs> gelatinous. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's hectic shit. And you didn't stop and it made her uncomfortable. She told me after. So maybe back off. Are you talking to me? Welcome to episode number 22 of the Mighty Michael Fully Actual Podcast. We've got a jam back to back, right? We got Tinder Adventures is back. Oh, yes. A jam back to back. Yeah, a jammed back. <laughs> We've got a jammed back. We got back. trauma trivia. We got prank call. We got fucking fussy little boys. It's going to be a wild ride, everybody. And if you hear a gentle humming in the background, that's because of fucking... It's truck next door is picking up the neighbor's trees and feeding them into a chipper. Yeah, that's how it has been for the last week. We are, yeah, currently going through construction here. The neighbors the had their fucking joint ripped down. Their fucking whole joint ripped down. Now they're going to put tan hours up. It's been decimated. Dude, so, yeah. I just realized the construction is going to be so loud. Oh, dude, it's uh, we're going to have to start filming night time. We're going to have to get out of here. We're going to have to get out of this place. We're going to have to grow uh, quickly. wings and get to a bigger, bigger suburb. Quickly, let's get out of here, everybody. Premium members know what's up. Ooh, they do. Do you know what's up, Brown? Matt's currently flicking through Reader's Digest. <laughs> <laughs> It looks so young. It looks like his legs are really short. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, now you hear, everybody. Now you hear what we hear. <laughs> Jerry, can we should stop? Um, well, uh, I just realized to get the trauma trivia, I will oh. have to uh, get my phone over. No, that's too loud. It. That's way too loud. That's rumbling. All right, we'll be right back, oh, guys. We'll it be might back. be night time. We'll be back. Shit! Bong <laughs> shit! Ah! Bong break! Sorry about. From, we're back so from. We're, we're back from bong break. So sorry about that. Now the sound's gone. It's like half an hour later. Had a game of worms. Let's get the podcast going. Wait, we got to talk about this now. Indeed. Let's just say we've we all know that worms is probably the greatest thing in the world. Would you ever think, Brown? How much could you beat me? What do you mean? Eight v eight worms. Is there ever going to be a, a day that you beat me? I have beaten you five times. Okay, look, but that. What about moving forward? Was that eight v eight? Let's put a perspective know. on this. How many games do you play Monday to Friday? That was the Worms Armageddon one days. This is number two. Daily. Oh, look, I think maybe we should steer. We, this is yeah. an off-camera conversation because so. no one knows who the, what the fuck oh, Worms is. So For should, those, there's probably people who don't take it know offline? that I was number nine in the world at Worms. Okay, and you play it. How many times a day do you play it at work? Four games, maybe? Maybe four games throughout so the day. So four games a day. I play it probably one game a week if I'm lucky. Yeah, well, you got to start practicing. Well, I don't want to deviate from my world to do that anyway look let's worms. move on Sorry. we've fallen into the trap again we're talking right. about worms time again we've so had barely people any <laughs> no one knew what it was on twitch and now we're talking about it that's yeah. even worse <laughs> so oh, trading I cards it. i really truly love it anyway look we've had a wild wild week have we no huh. what did we do last week we filmed we filmed two website videos what were they again oh we did mini golf mayhem number two mini golf mayhem two and um we also did which sports gear hurts oh. the most which was such a dreadful day yeah that was a bit shit mm. but it was very educational so those will be coming to the website and we also contacted our the winner of the 50 thousand dollars he's a podcast listener yeah wow there you go yeah so we managed to get a halt we did a redraw because the guy who won the fifty thousand dollars couldn't get through to him did a redraw and jake won and he's a podcast listener so fucking well done jake 50 yeah. grand Man. we got to call him today we filmed it it's probably out now already but by the time this podcast it. is out you and he also said he's going to spend all his money at christmas on it yeah that's going to be a good Christmas party. He also made you bop me on the head. Yep. Oh, yeah. He wanted you to get hit. Sorry about that. So what, congratulations, Jake. And that now is officially the end of our 50K giveaway. But we still do monthly giveaways if you're a premium member on the, on the website. We give away like PS5s, TVs, 
laptops, really? all kinds of shit. Yeah, mm. phones, all kinds of shit, man. Every shit. month. Please don't be back, machine. Oh, no. No, surely he's done now, machine. It's home time, machine. Yeah, it's home time. Go home to wife, machine. It's, it's more faint. Have a beer and hit it, wife, machine. <laughs> With his machine. Oh, it's coming back. It's yes. Getting louder. Yeah, I can hear him getting louder. Anyway, let's try and push forward, yeah, right? Look, ignore the machine if you can hear the machine. So we've had a pretty standard week, okay? Weekend. Esther, my fucking daughter's been so sick, but she's coming good now. What else has happened? Anything else? Um, Look, I'm going to say what else? What website video came out? Look, we did a website video where we tested non-organic versus organic and we see which is more painful. So we're very good scientists. Another very good science experiment. Also, well, we filmed another... Oh, we already spoke about what we filmed. Did you play pickleball at all? No, nah, that's tonight. Last week, though? I got drilled seven. I was seventh out of ten, so I'm shit. I'm f***ing shit. Look, you sorry. We're fucking covered in bruises again. I know, my I've fucking body hurts. Pain videos. We've got this new series, Undodgeball, coming out. Where we just basically throw shit at each other and you're not allowed to move. Like you just kind of have to stand there and there's no blocking. It's very horrific. It's hard not to flinch. You just got to shut your eyes and hope it doesn't hit somewhere sacred. <laughs> yeah, that's literally what happened. Oh, is that the one you were filming when I rolled up? Yeah, yeah you were there. Yeah, uh, that didn't look fun. Imagine no. getting, yeah, Mandarin. I forgot how painful they are. Yeah, you always forget. They're like rocks. You always forget. Right in the sternum. Imagine getting hit. Never forget. And then are quickly reminded when we start filming. Man, I'm good at worms. You, I can beat you, Brown. <laughs> anyway, let's fucking Sorry. move on. Sometimes in... Oh, this is something we can talk about before we move on. The 100-day challenge that we're undertaking. Oh, I don't, don't want to hear about okay. that. All right, let's move on. Look. No, look, it's interesting and it's good. Everyone else should take part if they feel like they need to improve their body. No, maybe it's too boring. And it ties know. in well with AG1. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> look, all right, look, okay. Fuck me. We've, we've spiraled out of control. Mm. And do you know why? Sugar. Because we're covered in f***ing hair. You want me to be honest? Hair, hair, hair. Yeah. Hair's there, it's over there. Hair everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I could really use some kind of shaver that that doesn't prick my skin and that is waterproof as well and that has evolved five times like a 5.0 version of something. It's like a rare Pokemon. So rare. Pikachu. I know. Manscaped.com. Go to go to Manscaped.com and get rid of that unwanted hair. If if you're running from a, a policeman and he's covered in hair, you're going to be slow. So shave all your hair off and get out of there, man. Dodge the cops. And what? Oh, it's just too expensive. Oh, it's roughly 20% too expensive for me. Well, how about this, you, you stupid, you fucking idiot? We got you covered. We got you, man. 20% off. Gone. What's Chop the it off the end. Fully actual 20. Bang. Stick that in your gun and shoot it in your mum's face. Watch that Whoa. bitch drop and shave your own head as she dies. I like my mum. Yeah. Well, that goes for, like, I guess, the bad mums. And the good mums. So go to manscaped.com and shave your f***ing body. Because no one likes that shit. No one. Not one person in the world gets naked and starts feeling someone up and going, oh, man, I wish, I wish they were covered in way more hair. It's never happened. Not once. Not even Germany? Do no. girls like hairy guys? No. No. Impossible. And the girls who do need to also go to Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com. It's for women as well. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired, bro. Oh, I'm not feeling too good. Can you pass me that that box of whatever that is, Matt? Oh, what the hell? Magic. AG1. Mm, that's better. It's did you green. Know, did you know that this has 75 vital nutrients and minerals in it that are good for you? Look, l let me read some of this shit, all right? Like, look at this. Organic spirulina, mm. lecithin, <laughs> phospholipids, organic <laughs> apple powder, inulin, 
<laughs> organic wheatgrass powder, organic alpha alpha powder, organic chlorella powder, organic barley powder, leaf powder, flower powder, broccoli powder. It's got every fucking thing you need powder. You put it in a cup and you snort it, and then you fucking headbutt the wall until you can't see it. You drink it. In a good way. Like Age you're feeling one, that good. Go to the link in our description and sign up now or die. Put a, sign up or die. Those are your two options. AG1 will extend your life and it is impossible to die if you take AG1. Put it in water and drink it. Don't you snort fucking it. idiots. Get, get in it. If you spend money on that to live longer, that means you'll live longer to be able to make more money. And do you know what? So it's an investment. And do you know what? People, I can't afford that. And then they f***ing go to the doctor and need like gout surgery and all this shit. And then you're paying f***ing three grand for it. You may as well f***ing not get AG1, never get sick. And then you just save them the same amount of cash. Plus you're not a f***ing fat c It's self-sustainability, basically. AG1. We all use it. And I it's green. It Green's a fucking great color, I Is think. It? It's very pretty. I thought green was meant to be the unlucky color. No. All right, that's enough. And say that. Sorry. All right, it's time. Should we, I want to do the Tinder segment, but this dog's getting real. Yeah, fun. well, let's pump through something else. We'll do t Tinder soon. Um. All right, look, why don't we do some trauma trivia, hey? How are we feeling about that? <laughs> <laughs> Michael spilt my uh, things everywhere, so I'll just pick one today. <laughs> oh, yeah, just grab one off the ground. <laughs> Where are the little whiteboards? All right, hit, first you have to hit it, Brown. And as you're hitting it, as the jingle plays, then you scrap. Have a bomb break, quickly! And we're back. Look at Matt's concentrating. Oh, can you hit the jingle and then I can explain everyone what the f this shit is, bro? <laughs> yeah. 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 Look at him looking. Trauma, trivia, trauma, trivia. And this is a segment where Matt asks us questions and if you get it wrong, we have to hurt each other with something really painful because our pain brings people joy all over the world and that's our job now and we have to accept it. <laughs> yeah, dude, <this laughs> is Always not... pain, every day. <laughs> we got to what, whip this. <laughs> so Matt's just handed his coat hanger, so I'm assuming that we have to flog each other with oh, these dude, every time you get it wrong. hurt. Look, bruises just everywhere. It just never ends, man. Life is pain. Suck it up and get on with it. Mm. What's the story, man? Okay. What's the first for Klein here for Clearly Lady? Um, so I've picked one because you spilt my things over and stuff. And, yeah. Did you? Um, oh, you got to put that back up because it was um, a mental piece. Can they see it? Yep. And that angle at the moment. That's why I took the chair out. Trauma. I'm lying. <laughs> They can't see. <laughs> they can't see where the hat is. <laughs> That's oh. hectic. Michael got you so bad then, bro. <laughs> you, you get to freely hit Michael. <laughs> what? That's not the game. you got to do the rules. Uh, yeah, well, I'm in charge of this segment. All right, look. Well, let's play So if you want to fuck around, <laughs> that'll be the consequences. Okay, well, oh, look. Am I not? Okay, I'll hold off. He, he, got, the, he got the gist, but if he fucks got around the gist, again. I learnt. Uh, my dress just keeps coming up. Fuck right? my dress. <laughs> um, we haven't done your, we haven't done what year that was this invented. What do we? What year was this invented? <laughs> We've done that one also. Yeah, you did one where everything was what year was it? <laughs> Hang on. What year? Aliens. Ready. Question number one. How many UF how many UFO sightings are reported in Australia every year? How many UFO sightings are reported in Australia each year? I will accept the closest answer. Marty, no cheating. You'll get a hit. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? Three, Please. two, one. 60. 2,000. Wow. Both are really off. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say 60. Sounds um, fun. Answer 60. is 800, so I think it's closest to Marty. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, no, it isn't. It's closest to me, baby. Yeah, it is, Brown. You fucking <laughs> doesn't got my hopes know up. that. Brown, you're being dumb. Yeah, I was okay. just being silly. Okay. 
All right. Oh, <sighs> pain will be felt. <sighs> Please try and keep Sick. it in the same spots over and over. Uh, that'll, what it means will be nice and. Oh, even. man, this is shit. Are you taking oh, it in the arm? Oh, 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 are you ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God! Ow! 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 Oh, what I felt the that. F- man, holy oh, shit! Serious, holy shit, that's serious! <laughs> yeah, that's oh, serious. it is that's not. serious, dude. bro. Look is it really that bad? Oh. oh. Yeah, it's not fun. I tried it on myself I, earlier. I can't do the same really spot. Does it's impossible. Hurt. Look at the goosebumps. Look, I've got from earlier for clients. You're going to have full plasma coming out of that. Oh, I don't like that when that happens, man. I can't wait for question number two. Oh, oh, hurry so. up. Fuck this game. Ready? I have to win. <laughs> question number two. <laughs> Go. Who, who directed the movie Aliens? <laughs> God, f- you for that question. Shit. <gasps> oh. Can you just like whoever sounds the closest with the name wins? Yeah. yeah. Because if you both get... Oh, no, I should have a both get it wrong. You both get punished. Okay, ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Quentin Steelberg. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> okay, I think Michael's going to win it. What? Yes! But, um, Is it something Jackson? Well, it's your favourite director in the whole world. Peter Jackson. What? J- who? I don't have one. Yeah, you do. Cameron Diaz? No, James Cameron. Oh, close. That's we're both wrong. We both get hit. He's got a J in his. You don't. It's not closest. You said you have to be right or wrong. Jackson or no, James. No, we said who sounds the closest. Remember, you yeah, agreed. You, got, you guys said who sounds, and I didn't. Like. I, actually, I actually disagreed yeah. with that, but then you guys convinced me to do who's the closest. I hate this shit, man. That's, this is horrific. <laughs> um, yeah, James Cameron's directed Titanic, which is Michael's Shut favorite. Shut up film. about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Movie shit. <laughs> oh my god. Be free, be German. Uh, ah, oh, please, what is my life? Oh, oh this is my life. It's not fun. My it life really is this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Samuel Jackson and he <laughs> fucking wins. He's a <laughs> black actor. <laughs> Oh, Snakes shit. on a plane, shit. Yeah, wow. I thought he directed. I, I thought it was Peter Spielberg, but I didn't remember his name. That was name. close. Oh, my God. He's really coming up. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Lucky we got more questions. It's like an 8 out of 10 paint. Oh, shit. I'm not looking forward to for Klein's then. Yeah, Question well, you number never get him three. Wrong. Okay, I will. Okay, focus. Be movies. What year did the UFO crash in Roswell, New Mexico or Area 51, whichever you want to call it? Three, two, two one. one. 1947. 1975. Michael got it correct. What? Is I it thought it was in the 70s. No, it's not. It's exactly 1947. Oh. oh yeah, 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 I want to celebrate. Fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to hurt. <laughs> I don't want to do this oh, anymore. He's already like bruising on that arm. Yeah. No, you got to take the same spot. No, I'm, I've already <laughs> changed spots. It's, I'm, what do you want from me? <laughs> Fucking sit here with deep lacerations and then you'll be fucking happy. My arms are cut off. <laughs> then you'll be satisfied. Jesus Christ. Oh, dude, it is bad. Oh, yeah, it's not good. I think that one's this a lot. This is easily as bad as the hand. I've just realized that one's a lot more flat than when we tested it on. So it must Hurry be. Hurry up. Get this shit <laughs> done with. I'm like that. That is so purple. Stop touching it so hard. Ooh, it still ooh, hurts. Ooh, itchy. I'm itchy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you want leg? Yes. Oh, leg. Dude, leg's going to be so much worse. Hang there. Just hurry up, dude. Hang there. Three, two, one. Oh, Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's like a roller coaster of pain, man. It really burns. Oh, Oh. 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 Oh my God. Oh, my God. It's like instant. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. That's rough, dude. Wow, you have... It looks like an iron has gone on you. Shut up! Okay. How many more? <laughs> more How many more? Uh, another question. Uh, number four. 
God. Okay, ready. All right, question number four. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what year was the term UFO <sighs> used? Man, you and your fucking years. I'm trying to help you. Okay, ready. Three, two, one. 1950. 1953. Oh my God. What? The answer is 1953. Oh my Marty God. Marty got a fucking right. Suck shit. I'm going to fucking hit you as hard as I had 1953. Right. Did you? <laughs> Did you really? I oh. think that or 95. No. Yeah, that, that or 95. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, you can never pay it! Oh, oh, I need to, bro. Look at this. Look at this. You're gonna stand spur. that shit, man. You're about to see what this feels like. I have to put everything I have into this, bitch. I want to rip your arms up so you know not to hit me so hard because you, the pain is so bad. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh shit. Please. Oh god. Okay. What's coat hanger in German? Whoa! Oh, that's like the metal. Ka- 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 Dude, <laughs> I, that's untested. That that's a, like a metalish one. I'm going to feel Oh no. Oh, oh my no. god. I'm very worried. Oh my god, he <laughs> broke it. Oh god! Whoa. No, no, no. Oh, it's like an iron. It's like a fucking hot iron. <laughs> Oh, okay, it's calming. Dude, that burn. Oh my god, Marty broke his in one go. Oh, look, it's still in one piece. Did something fly off it? No, it just rebounded off his arm. Oh, the whole thing rebounded off. Okay. Last one. Okay, okay. Re- I can't understand now. All right. I understand what you mean. <laughs> you know, it's still. It's horrific, bro. Oh. Yeah, such intense mark. Okay. okay. All right. Shit, I've lost my text up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Uh, uh, question number five. World UFO Day is celebrated on which date? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, August 7th. September 11th. <laughs> what? There's nothing, no way. I've got it. Oh. What? Why is that funny? <laughs> I don't know. September 11th. August 7th. I know Quickly, something, something what's happened. the answer? September 11th. The answer is uh, the 2nd of July. Michael gets a close. No! My cheap joke backfires. <laughs> you lose, bro. Okay. <sighs> I'm again. <laughs> That's it, though. There are no more fucking questions after this. I got one more if you want to. No, do it. thank you. But Get you, off me! I just got five. Change. Okay. <laughs> now yours is broken. Just check that. Yeah, what? it's gonna cut me or some yeah, shit. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Three, two, two, one. <laughs> oh my god! Please kill me! Oh dear. Help! Help me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it leaves such weird marks. Oh, Surely man, it wasn't that, that hurts, bad. dude. It hurts a lot, man. Yeah, it's not uh, splendid at trauma, all. Trauma. Trivia. That's too much trivia. This is a fucking Ooh. great segment. God, I fucking hate that segment, man. Yeah, that was rough, man. We still got to do fussy <sighs> little boys today. That's Fuck you, little boys. Does well, that make funny. you feel better? Yeah, it made me happy. It made me happy. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Is it time? Should but we just do it? I reckon let's do Tinder Adventures. It's time. Have a bong break. Come back. We're doing no, Tinder No, we've had too many bong breaks. Let's just get on with it. All right, look. We're straight into it. Right. Tinder Adventures. No, you've already, got to have a bong break. We've before. already had two bong Trust breaks. Trust me. You need it for Tinder Adventures. All right, all right, look. Have a bong break. He's right. It's okay. important. Okay. Bong break, we'll be right back with Tinder. (laughs) Holy shit, here we go, Tinder. Oh, man. Welcome back, guys. It's time for Tinder Adventures. I'm very excited. 
apparently, I think these are going to be some good ones this week. So strap yourselves in. <coughs> yeah, look, um, I've been Tindering all week. And a lot of people are probably wondering whose Tinder are we like using. So we've just made a um, one of our friends, Luke. We've used, he's allowed us to use his images. So, um, yeah, we're, we're just pretty, basically using a mate's photos and we've set it up. So here we go. She reaches out for she reaches out first and she says <clears throat> Hi, how are you? I'm practicing my catching, just pegging a ball at the wall and trying to catch the rebound. What's your work conditions like? Ha huh, I'm currently trying to get into the mines. Oh holy shit, I can literally help you with that. <laughs> what kind of position are you looking for? I just want to drive haul trucks. Do you have any experience? I'm assuming you have your truck oh. license. I was told I don't need a truck license. Yeah, it's not mandatory, but it helps. Have you, ever, have you ever driven a haul truck before? What's your views on climate change? No, I haven't. I have no views on climate change. Hmm, might be hard to get you in without a haul truck. Would you consider working as a screen? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's more of an office position where you would just be standing in open doorways and just keeping small insects and animals out. If a human comes in, you have to move out of the way and let them in. But yeah, you would just basically... You would basically just start by being a screen. You might also have to sit in open window sills and be a screen there. But the girls at reception would rotate you around the office. Oh, how do I get into that? Who do, who do I apply through? I've done reception work in the past. <clears throat> I can pass your details on to the office girls and see what the next when the next screen position opens up. It's a great starting role, and if you do your time, it can lead to other things. A couple of my mates of mine started working as screens, and now they drive huge dump trucks, and they had all their training paid for by the mining companies. So, yeah, if you do a good job at being a screen, it can open doors, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't let, like, flies and small ants and bugs get past you. Be a screen. <laughs> oh, what details do you need? I also have my standard 11 and I would really appreciate it. Okay, great. Just your full name and phone number will do. The girls will probably ask you if you'd like to, if you would be open to being a large wooden beam as well. Also a pretty easy job. You just kind of stand there with your arms above your head against the ceiling. Okay, now you're pulling my leg. Sorry? You're kidding me, right? I'm not sure I understand. No, this isn't a joke. I just thought you said you wanted to work in the mines. Were you joking or something? No, I'm not joking, but I feel like you're pulling my leg with what you're saying. Oh, you mean the wooden beam? Yeah, if you don't want to do it, then I'll, I'll happily just tell the girls you're only interested in being a screen. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be a wooden beam either. It's kind of pointless. Lots of pointless jobs in, in the mines, though. They have too much money, so they just invent jobs. Oh, okay. Look, I don't mind anything to get my foot in the door. And then she sends her name and number. Okay, great. I'm due back at the mines early next week, so I'll have a chat to Grap then. <laughs> Grub is the office manager. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so I'm thinking for the prank call, right? I call her as Grub and say that, like, ask her some questions about wanting to be a screen. <laughs> that so. is fucking hectic. Are we being mean? Yeah. <laughs> How can she not know though? It's kind of her fault for not knowing. Like, I'm asking her to if she wants to be a screen. Does she look a bit special? No, she looks normal. And then I, I messaged her number. I texted her. Sorry, the conversation continues. Oh, hey, it's me. Easier to text from here from now on. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> and so she's like waiting today for a call. Anyway, fucking Tinder. Here we go. You've been hacked at? Hacked? What do you mean? You've been hacked at? Like has there ever, ever been a time where you were hacked at? Is this some Jeffrey Dahmer situation you're into? Count me out. What? Hacked at? Like, have you been with a man physically? Oh, I can't believe you've never heard of hack that. <laughs> As a true crime person, my mind went straight to murder. Never once have I heard being being with someone physically <laughs> called hack that. But yes to your question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God, that must be so confusing. Are you from Australia? I swear everyone says hack that in Australia. I haven't had a hack at since last year. <laughs> and then she unmatched. <laughs> oh, it's rough. So <laughs> Opening with that is not on. Oh, dude, I thought jab that was bad, but hacked <laughs> <hacked> that. <laughs> Holy shit. Been 
Fuck that. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> so conversation starts. <clears throat> oh, I'm so mad at myself. Do you do lines? <laughs> <laughs> Why? And no. Went in for a coffee this morning and I was at a cafe and a fly landed on my toast. I shoot it away a couple of times, but it was one of those super annoying flies that just keeps landing on the same spot. I tried to hit the fly, but hit the plate instead, and my food got flung onto me in the ground. Then I fully lost my temper, and now I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, damn, that does, does sound rough. You really... But really, it was just the situation. You didn't really aim for the plate. Death doesn't warrant a line, haha, <laughs> but maybe a joint to calm the nerves. Oh, yeah, that's not even the whole story. After I spilt the food, I stood up and screamed, Fuck this! As loud as I could and then punched down at my table. The plate shattered and my drink went flying. One of the waiters came over and asked me what was wrong, and I just kept screaming, Flies! It's like my brain doesn't work properly when I get that mad. Fucking fly just kept landing on the same place of piece of toast over and over. I swear sometimes they do it on purpose. Okay, you took it a little bit far. Yeah, I can't believe I told you the details. <laughs> I'm cringing so much thinking about it. A couple of babies started crying. Oh my God, <laughs> so embarrassing. I just wish I didn't scream so loudly. I fully just filled my lungs to the maximum and leant backwards and just screamed full ball up towards the ceiling. It was the loudest I've ever screamed. <laughs> screamed for about 10 seconds too. I'm genuinely sad I missed it. Are your ears burning? Because they're all still talking about you. Oh my God, I can't stop thinking about it. I even had my eyes as wide open as possible. Possible, and other people in the cafe were fully so scared. One guy said he didn't think I was human. Lesson learned though, never ever <laughs> doing that again. My throat is still so sore. I think I tore my larynx. I felt it split at the end of my scream. How's your night? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk and listening to Bluey. You tell me. That sounds so hectic. I'm going to pull my fucking ass cheeks apart as far as I can and confront my neighbours about their dog then i'm gonna mm. squat on their lawn with my cheeks still ripped apart and power surge a beam of steam shit on their grass <laughs> i've taken 27 times the recommended laxative dose see if they forget <laughs> to pick up their dog's shit on my lawn again damn you're like mr confrontational <laughs> when's our wedding yeah Whoa. i love getting in people's faces i fire up heaps quick it's hectic Haha, <laughs> it's the wine talking, but nice. I clench my fists and breathe through my mouth as tears well up in my eyes with rage. <laughs> you don't want to mess with me. <laughs> I've been to court before. <laughs> you, could probs you could probs recommend a good lawyer. Just beat me up instead. Yeah, I could totally beat the shit out of you if that's what you want. <laughs> I'll even poison myself in front of you. <laughs> what? And then, and then she didn't reply to that, so message the next day. Sorry if things got out of hand last <laughs> night. I've been crying all day. Are you feeling better? <laughs> I've been crying all day. Dude, this is fucking insane. And that is an ongoing conversation with her. <laughs> She's she, to she thinks that you were considering poisoning yourself. <laughs> and then you said you've been crying since last time you spoke. <laughs> Dude, that is so hectic. <laughs> And she still wants to keep a conversation going. the most hectic one you've ever done for me. Holy shit. Oh, thank she you. She okay? That was oh, so yeah. good. I needed that, man. Wow. Allow yourself to feel with me. That if you want. If I do it, it's real. Real? Real. Stage my death with me? Are you being serious? I've always wondered how people would react if they thought I died. So, yeah, I'm actually being serious. Would you ever help me? It has to be a stranger that helps me. You wouldn't have to do much. I would just need you to tell my family that I've died. And then she didn't reply for a while. Hello? Let me know if it's something you would consider. I'm running out of time. Are you okay? I had someone who was going to help me, but she's pulled out. I'm not even kidding. I'll send you $500 if you help me with this. I literally just need you to meet up with me and I'll be like pretending I've died. And you need to send a text to my mom saying I've died. Then when she replies, just FaceTime her and show her my body. This will only work if a stranger does it. Then after the FaceTime, that's it. You can just block me and we'll go our separate ways. I'll pay half now and half after. This is not a joke, by the way. I'm so sick of convincing people I'm being serious. I'm not going to let this play out for very long. I'm just genuinely curious to see how my family would react. Wow, so you want to stage it all. How are we going to do this? Are you going to pay me $500 by pay ID? <clears throat> just the initial me dying part. I don't want it to go on for too long because I care about my family, but I'm just going to let it go for like an hour. And yeah, I can pay you cash or pay ID or whatever you need. 
Are you actually going to help me though? I'm not I'm not just going to pay you because how do I know you're not just going to unmatch me when I give you the money? Where in Brisbane do you live? We could do it this weekend if you're free or next weekend. I'm free then too. <clears throat> it's like 50-50. No, I don't unmatch anyone. They unmatch me because I'm not looking good, good looking or I'm not skinny. So why would I unmatch you? Like I can help you, but how are we going to do this? I live in Redcliffe, North Brisbane. It's like 50-50 here. How would I know you're going to abuse me or hit me, etc., that you're going oh. to unmatch me as well? I have similar thought. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck me. Oh, this Jesus. guy is so illiterate. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not <laughs> fussed on how you look. But for what it's worth, I think you look great. But I genuinely just need someone to help me stage my death. Yeah, park works. Would you be able? To, would you be okay with it if I called the ambulance as well? I'm just going to say I'm feeling like I'm going to faint and then faint to the ambulance. We'll just convince mom that... <clears throat> it's legit if the ambulance is there. Oh, and no, I'm not going to abuse you. I might push you as hard as I can in the back, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm fine. This your stage death, not mine. Okay, perfect. Did you have a park in mind? We could do it this weekend. How about next weekend? I'm busy this weekend or during the week. And that is an ongoing conversation. That's unbelievable. Oh, Dude. That is unbelievable. I would watch that as a video. It sounds Imagine like she's... someone staging your death with you. Yeah, she's. I'm reading that back. I was like, man, she's really doesn't know how to. I don't think she's all there. Yeah, maybe not. But and I feel like you have taken advantage of her now. Well, she's got to let me know if there's something going on up there because I can't smell it out. She might not know. <laughs> she might not know that she's f the skull. She yeah. might be the one for Luke. Perhaps. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, man. Imagine, imagine that. It was like if, uh, like how, how you met. Yeah. Oh, like, she oh. was helping me stage my death, and then we went on a date, and the rest is history. Oh fuck! Oh. <laughs> Plowed her back in. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of Tinder. <laughs> That was fucking. I cannot wait to see what that bitch comes back with, with when you've said you've been crying all day, <laughs> yeah. dude. What do you say to that? If you can imagine getting a message from someone saying I've been crying. Oh, okay, sorry oh, about man, that. If she yeah, has an unmatched now. Care. She's never gonna unmatch. Yeah, well, maybe that's the wife. Yeah, there's so many wife potentials for Luke. They must have so much time on their hands to like invest in that conversation. Well, I think they just really, they just really want it. You know, they want it bad. Yeah, okay, maybe. Yeah. So they're willing to look past some serious red flags. There's no aphrodisiac like loneliness. Yeah. That's so true. <laughs> All right, next segment. Let's move on to fussy little boys. boys. Hit it, Brown. Do we need to make a jingle for Tinder? I'll go get the feast. Mm. No. Oh. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fussy so Fussy little boy. <laughs> fussy Not good. little world. These are fussy boys. Fuss, 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 fuss. World. Oh. Oh, man, now we feel pain, really. Can we get sick, James? <laughs> no, oh, you can't really get no. sick. This is a segment where both Matt and Michael eat some exotic food that James has prepared for them because Matt and Michael are both notoriously fussy little boys and if we go to a restaurant, they'll get hot chips. I had hot a fussy little boy moment on the weekend, actually. What was the fussy bit of little bit you did? I was yeah. out with my girlfriend. We went to like a Asian like rolled place where you get like little roll things. Yes. Do you have a second? Matt's telling us a story. story. Matt wants to tell us his story. Matt's got a story about his fussiness. <laughs> and um, and I literally, I thought it was just barbecue chicken in a ro in a, and rice in a roll thing, but it was full of like bits of like cucumber and all other kinds of things in there. Cucumber. 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 And, uh, and I've been into it. Oh, and some sort of green leaf thing. Didn't know what it was. And I've been into it feeling very confident. And uh, it was like a shot through my system of like, fussiness and i was like no that's not good had to chew it in my mouth for like a minute and <laughs> my girlfriend was just pissing herself laughing at how <laughs> fussy i was and then she finished it for me what was it do you remember what it was called it was, it was literally called barbecue they fucking bamboozled me they didn't tell me all the ingredients oh. which i think's fucking wrong it was chicken <laughs> It was, it was it was barbecue chicken with rice, but then they had extra shit in it that they didn't say on the little. <laughs> well, wait, what's the extra shit? Just a bit of tomato and cucumber. cucumber. That's no, fine. It was like, no, it was like cucumber. It was a uh, little green leaf. Uh, stuff. He hates green. If there's a little bit of leaf, you <laughs> no, always take it off. Some <laughs> greens okay. Like I like um, spinach. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, the you, most flavorless but, green possible. Yeah. You don't like basil on a margarita though. Yeah, see, so it would have been something like a basil or something. You don't like basil? Like uh, oh, it was. It basil's been maybe necessary. A basil. Herbs yeah. are like key. We stop food. speaking over each other. Sorry. 
um, Basil is fucking shit. Grumpy today. How can you say Basil shit? Who thinks Basil, Basil shit? shit? No, Basil's amazing. Basil's Basil unbelievable. Shit. What was the one oh. that starts with C? Coriander. Basil and coriander, oh, amazing. I love coriander. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it could have been coriander. I used coriander. to hate it though. I used to not yeah, like it. I like all herbs pretty much, especially the marijuana. Anyway, look. <laughs> let's, let's fuck. Um, let's get in. All right, James, what do we got for the okay. boys today? <laughs> <laughs> Shitman. <laughs> At least you didn't get f***ed up in trauma <sighs> trivia. Yeah, <gasps> dude, how is that? Yeah, it's calmed down now. Look. look away, Brown. What's the f***ing difference? <laughs> I'm going to eat it anyway. <laughs> You've got to get some help, <laughs> Brown's getting cranky. What does it yeah. matter if I see it or not? People have started to oh, notice your anger in the origin video. I wonder why. <laughs> I think you have depression. He's literally right. crying right now. What a fucking loser. Oh, look, he's crying. Oh, I'm I'm covering my eyes. Because you said to. Okay, sorry. Oh, I actually made it look all right, James. Lamb oh. brain. Oh, oh, yes. Matt doesn't want the green. Matt, on it. green on it. Yeah, he doesn't like dude, the green. The way I cooked this is like full French cuisine. This is getting so, out of hand. Dude. I poached them. <laughs> First of all, I soak them in vinegar because it takes away oh. any impurities. Oh, yeah. What's, impurity? What's impurities mean? Oh, like bacteria, shit like that. A little Wait, viruses so embedded boiled. in the brain. So you didn't cook it? Yeah. Oh, let's just then I done. poached it. I, I poached it for it. 10 minutes in boiling water. <laughs> no, actually... Uh, what's what's the level just below bubbling? Um, simmering. Simmering. Well, simmering water. Would, wouldn't the hot water kill the bacteria? Well, you'd think so, but supposedly it's get no. rid of impurities. Yeah, it's it's a little gone. like little and worms then, and shit embedded in the brain. Then I cooked it on a pan with butter and apple cider vinegar Yum. and sprinkled on some organic parsley from Dude, Luke's vegetable I'm, garden. I'm going to try some. So it's parsley is the green yeah, shit. Yeah, parsley, <laughs> Matt hates mate. the green shit more than the brain. So <laughs> what's... um. <laughs> He probably yeah. does. Should, just one week should just bring out <laughs> veggies, whole range of green, <laughs> just <objects>. lettuce. <laughs> yeah. No, lettuce is good. Is this um, question. <laughs> I, I, is there anything? Oh fuck! Oh brain! <laughs> fuck. Look yeah. at the brain stem. I want okay. to show people. Actually, people need to see this. I can it, smell like, it. It smells it like jiggles. Brain. It's like jelly. Is oh. it, can we actually get sick? Oh. Like this is the fucking issue that I've got now. Ah, I've cooked it, brother. Now. Nah, you because of that slug oh, shit I saw the no. other day. Because I saw that slug shit the other day that that dude died from eating a, a worm thing. He had Alzheimer's and he didn't cook it. Yeah, well, we didn't cook our worms. We we're shoving them in our jaws. Dude, that was gecko. You, different. Are you comparing my French cooked cuisine to a slug from the shit. garden? That's no, what no, they no, call He ate a worms. slug. No, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. Yeah. Can I Meal just worms. get this done? I, I didn't say anything this. about your mealworms. Oh, anyone can eat. I'm just saying it's a wide variety of sicknesses. <laughs> look at the I brain stem, so Michael. Fucking, I don't want to see it. Look at the brain Let stem. Unless I look at it. Oh man, that's connected to the oh, spinal yeah, cord. Look at that. Look at and this then they bit. sever it and take the Michael, brain out. Look at that. Whoa, dude, that's a fucking computer. It's like a pair of nuts. That's a computer. It's a computer. It's a fucking lamb computer. Yeah, isn't that wild to think that this little fucking. Thing. It's a computer. Directed it. Told it's it a biological it computer. It felt, it felt its feelings. Let it know when it was getting its head chopped yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, it it started it freaking bled out. out. It bled oh, out. Poor thing. Oh, no. Dude. I just licked my fingers. It is so gamey. It's yeah. Terrible. Oh, gamey's the worst. The What's worst that even flavor. Mean? I love gaming um, do, you, do you want me to cut into it or would you like to cut into it? Do you it, still hear the lambs crying, Chris? I'll just cut a piece off. Look, here we go. This is going to be one of the worst experiences. <laughs> Can you of my please life. cut it like this, Michael? Like, plunge the fork into both okay. sides into of the, the rubbery flesh and then flesh. just gently saw through the middle oh, i want to see the reveal and the juice okay. come out of the brain it's definitely going to give and me Marty, gout. If you could help him by um commentating what yeah, it looks uh, like i would love to i think that would help him <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, this is going to oh, it sick. smells weird yeah oh, dude it does smell just weird. chuck them on cheers bro uh, and the butcher who i got this mm, from him look at that. Look he is jiggle. now the best friend of fussy little boys. He has given me some good ideas. Dude, look oh, at that jiggle. Oh, so okay. he, wait, so the butcher was selling this. Yeah. So you can buy it from the butcher. Yeah, he, he loves it. Oh, so it's a normal oh, fucking thing. Look at that. Here we go, boys. Look, wait, wait. Well, look oh, at wow, the inside. That is cooked look absolutely at that inside. perfectly. Oh my god, it's like a fucking oh, it's a jelly. ant maze. It's jelly. It's like You've got brain flavored jelly uh, with brain stems still attached. Uh, oh, gelatin brain yeah. tissue. Oh, they get sick. Lambs get sick and disease stored in brain cells. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chalk, Whoa! 
<laughs> Whoa, what are we doing here? Chalky. There's a really high brain cancer rate in lambs too. That could have had cancer. <laughs> little like forty percent hard lumps, little hard lumps of tumor in there. Mm. The flesh falls apart. Gelatinous flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, pop it in, pop the gelatinous flesh in. Oh, dude, you got to stop saying that J word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gelatinous, shit. gelatinous, 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 gelatinous. Mm, bite gelatinous. through the rubber ball. Oh, it does Feel smell. it on your tongue. Bite through the rubber. Feel mm. the juice. The juice mm. filling your mouth. Smell the air oh. of the lamb brain. Hmm, <laughs> yummy. Oh. Dude, he doesn't mind it. It's his favourite so far. <sighs> I was inside a lamb like a week uh, ago, uh, working, uh, fully functional. <laughs> oh, he's gagging. <laughs> and that poor a bucket? little lamb got killed and then they ripped its skull ah! off. <laughs> <laughs> it's always... Ah! Ah! Computer. Oh, it's literally an animal computer it that you're eating. It does smell like shit, oh, dude, though. it's rough to watch you cut it. <laughs> it smells oh, like that? shit. The cancer. Look at the cancer. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, there's a little cancer cell here. Dude, I can't believe this. Oh, what is Come going on, Brown. On? Here we go. Dip it oh. some butter and shut up. Vinegar. Yeah. Oh, the brain. Game. It's the brain. <laughs> oh. The pinky, the pinky, and the. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> what do you give it out of 10? Dude, that's, little... a what? that's like the bird. Mm. Oh, that's the, the duck <laughs> Imagine if Matt and Michael both got violently <laughs> ill. Oh. Really bad viruses <laughs> for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Parasites. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. that would be so funny. <laughs> More gout. Oh, okay, I got it down. <laughs> I got it down. Oh. <laughs> Crows too extra Man, it's arms too, that also have gout. It's too squish. Yeah. It's too squish. Like, Whoa, yeah. look okay. at the juice. Oh. We move on. We, move. Mash. we can make you can it mash that up. Brain. You can right, mash enough, it up enough. with like mashed potato. Enough of that. You can make lamb you do that, brain. I'll kill you. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm thinking I'm about it. fucking kill you. Oh, sorry. Whoa, Michael. I yeah, just dude, there's, there's a my lot of anger on Pickleball. Pickleball. I got pickleball tonight. I don't give a fuck what you got tonight. You do that. This is more important. This is more important. I'll get a bigger bit. I need shorts for pickleball. I'll give you shorts for pickleball. Let me take my shorts off. Let me take them off. Man, I feel like we need to do that thing we used to do where we go around the circle and say nice things about each other. Yeah, we haven't done that for a while. Yeah. I try to pull There's it out. There's a lot of hate in this room. I tried to pull it out last trip. Oh, but didn't work. oh look at Matt's hand. All right, guys, we're going to have a big old bong break and we'll be right back. <sighs> I don't know what with the prank I call. hurt you. <laughs> big slap. Fight. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> That's fair enough. No, no, no more. All right, everyone, we're back. Oh. And it's prank call time. Hit it, Brown. <laughs> oh, do we have one? No, we don't, do we? Anyway, prank <laughs> call. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kevin, I'm speaking. Yeah, g'day, mate. Um, my name's Darren. Um, do you do that um, thing where you use test places like for um, meth and all that? Yes. Yeah, right. So, look... Um, I was just, like, curious in that, like, what's, like, the process to that? Like, do you just, like, come in and, like, just take, take like, a little fucking uh, swab and, like, get it off the wall or something? Is that what you do? Yes. But, like, if some, what if someone, like, um, like, really cleaned it, like, proper and that? What happens if they clean it quite proper? Yeah, yeah, if they do, like, heaps, heaps deep cleaning that on it, like, would your swab still be able to, like, pick it up and that? Um, a person who knows what they're looking for could potentially do that. Right. Yeah. And what, what if I lock? Um, I mean, what if what if someone like painted the wall? What's that? Can you repeat, please? What if someone like um, paints the walls? Um, and then would that lock? Would your swab then lock come back negative in that? Well, it depends um, because you can actually use different swabs and that sort of stuff to take the new paint off and find out what's behind the paint. Yeah, right. Um, off the top of your head, lock, just so I can be um, prepared in that if it happens, but, lock, um, is there any way that anyone could, lock, 
get around your like uh, testing thing? Like, is there like some kind of like chemical or something that someone could use? Like, just so I know like what to look out for in that. Um, yeah, no, there potentially is. Um, but see, then again, you know, someone who cleans a property is not going to clean one hundred percent of it. And a person who goes through and um, paints, it's not going to paint 100% of it. So someone who knows what they're looking for would still be able to find some sort of evidence of a house being contaminated. Yeah, right. Fuck. Okay, well, what if, okay, what about this then? Like, what if what if some, um, someone did, like, a real deep clean and then painted it, like, if it's just, say, like, in one room, one big room, like, in a house, right, and that's where they were doing, you know, whatever, Smoking, yeah. smoking, and that. Like, what if they deep cleaned it, right? Then yeah. zip out the buns, grab like house paint, and paint the walls. Like, so it's deep clean, right? And then a one coat of paint over it, and and like I won't miss a spot with the paint. Like, it's it'll be hundred percent perfect. Surely, if you come and try and do a swab in that, like that's like there's no way you'd be able to play for nothing. Right, so the one thing that I could do is um, I sell tests online, so you can go through and swab that room as many times as you want right. to um, then make sure that no one's going to find anything. Okay, oh, well, okay, no, that's good then. Um, yeah. Well, okay, well, I might just um, go and grab a couple of them tests then. So, look, how often do you use, so who, like, calls you guys, like, does, does like, homeowners and that who think that their tenants, like, smoke and meth and that, is that who calls you for tests and shit? Um, yeah, there's um, homeowners, there's um, um, also repossessed houses for banks, uh, lawyers, um, that sort of stuff, people who are, you know, trying to prove that something bad's been going on in a house. Right. And um, do you, um, like, or do you, like, if someone, like, came to you and, go, and, and said, like, oh, look, um, I heard you have to test me house... Um, ha- here, do you want? Can I give you like a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars or something like that to say that the net test is um negative and that? That's something that no, I wouldn't do because that's um you know that's okay. What if what if this person offered you ten grand cash? It'd be cheaper, right? For you to get someone to come in and clean that room than it would to offer that 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 money. But like, what if like the cleaner f***s up a bit and misses a f- little spot and still gets f- done? Like then, I'd rather like I'd rather a sure thing, you know. I'd rather like hundred percent like that. I won't that that this person won't get done. So where's the house located? Like what suburb? Launton. It's up in Launton, brother, near Dakerman yeah. and that. Yeah. No, my biggest my biggest suggestion is um, you tell the person who's making the inquiries and that sort of stuff, buy the tests, do what they want to do, right, and then go through and test the property themselves. How's that sound? Yeah, but okay. No, I wouldn't accept 10 grand to come through and do it, provide a false report. Right. So, well, so do you have a number in mind that you would provide a false report? Like surely if someone flicked you 50K, look, you'd keep your mouth shut and look, and look, come back with negative tests and that. Um, I tell you what, how about you give me a call um, this time tomorrow and I'll see if I know someone who would be prepared to do that, but I wouldn't be able to be prepared to do that myself. What? Okay. All right. Too easy, brother. Well, um, yeah, look, um, obviously, look, I don't know you, you don't know me, but look, um, you no, know, what's, what's happening? No, no, you're on no caller ID anyway, yeah, so right. I don't know who you are. Yeah, exactly right. So, like, you know, this conversation, like, you know, you have to be professional in that and, like, you know, I'm just I'm just inquiring as a customer, potential customer and that, like, so, like, you know, you, we, we don't go around telling people that we've had this conversation and that we just kind of, like, forget that it ever happened and that. I don't even know who you are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's exactly right. All right, mate. Well, fuck, mate. I feel like we've gotten right on. Like, I feel like um, we've got a little connection going and, like, there's some kind of like vibration in that. That's like connecting us yeah. together. Do you know what I mean? Like kind of like through the ether. We're kind of like symbiotic, like spirits and that sort of soaring through space and time and like kind of like floating around doing like flips and shit. Like it's fucking heavenly up here, brother. It's fucking heavenly, I'm brother. The connection. Mate, it's like I'm fucking, there's a weight off my fucking shoulders and that and I'm just like, I'm shaking. I'm fucking like shaking with pleasure and shit. <laughs> 
scripture. Yeah, no, look, I don't know who you are. Your number hasn't come up. I'll see if I can find someone who you can go through and do what you want, but I can't guarantee anything. Mate, you're a fucking legend. And in my eyes, you and I are now brothers, right? You, you understand? You and I are brothers for life. If you ever need something from me, you call me, right, and I'll be right there. And you and I, we're like peas and carrots, you and I. Not a problem. Mm. All right, mate. You have a okay. bloody good day. All right, I'll call you okay. back tomorrow, you all right? Too. I love you. I, lo- I feel love for you, brother. I feel it hard and hard through it. Do you know? Like, it's hard, brother. Seeping out of me. Slit. No worries. Uh, I've got to go. So, um, yeah, let's chat tomorrow. Too easy, mate. I'm hot. Okay. I'm hot with it. Mwah. See you soon. Okay. Mwah, la, la, la. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe oh, that man. he's considering finding someone who will <laughs> accept <laughs> bribes. I think he was just trying yeah. to get off the phone and being polite. Well, I reckon he's fucking. Well, 50k. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess it is a lot the of money. Same for 50k. Dude, he's a good oh, dude. Man, that is hectic shit. <laughs> it was hard to like find a point of disagreement, so I just had to tell him off. Love him. <laughs> He's very understanding. Yeah, yeah. very handle it very well. Oh, Happy man. to keep going on the narrative of yeah, these people that you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, very good. That worked out beautifully. <laughs> All right, guys, look, look, we forgot to do this a little earlier, but um, we we actually want to try something before we leave you guys today. Um, and looks, so we we've received a text to our phone. Our podcast phone, 04666-02303, if you have a similar dilemma. And this lady, this lady, okay, she texted in and she said, Hey, Marty, Michael and Matt, I would really appreciate if, if you could call this number. I've liked this boy for a while and I've tr- really tried hard to get his attention, but he doesn't get the hints and signals. I think this date opportunity and you guys calling him will finally get me a chance with him. Please oh, consider oh, me. no. Yes. So, oh, I've got to call so I reckon Matt calls... And tells this guy, Jaden, about Taya, this girl, and sets Taya. up a date. And are you going to be okay with that? Or are you going to fumble the ball and fuck things up for everyone? I'll probably fumble the ball. <laughs> are you going to be speaking? No, we, we won't Matt, speak. We, we, it's Matt's know, time to shine. We're silent. You know we're respectful. All right, I'll call him. All right, here we go. Fuck so Matt's calling this random guy to tell him that there's a girl What's who wants to go on a date with big him. Big news with Brown. Hello? Hey, is that Jaden? Yeah. Hey, Jaden. My name's Matt. I'm from a a uh, basically a company that that gives away news. I'm from Big Brown News. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I've been given your number from a girl named Taya. Is she a friend yeah. of yours? So yeah, I know some, some chick. I know she's a chick. So you do know her? Yeah, vaguely. Cool, cool. So basically, she's written into me, and she's asked if um if basically I could ask you out on a date for her. Yeah. Yeah. So she's really keen on you, and she says she says she's been trying to give you hints and stuff like that, but you're not really picking up on it. And she's wondering if yeah, if you'd like to go on a date with her. May as well. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah. She's she gave some suggestions like going down to bribery or to Redcliffe or something like that. I'm not. Go- but yeah, so you're keen to go on a date with her? Go. Yeah. So. Nice. Can you tell Marty to shut up in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> How did he know? He knows. <laughs> I watch your podcast, man. Oh, really? Oh, oh wow. Fuck. So you knew it was Matt. You knew you were on a podcast. No, he knew it was you just being chaos in the background. Oh, this is the best thing ever. I thought this was going to backfire massively. Now plan their date, Matt. Plan their date. Yeah, Go you- to the beach and you... No, 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 no. Oh, step, by step. step by step. Oh, step by step. I can't do that. It's too much work. So this is what, Jaden, you are going to go out on a Jayden, date with Taya? But yeah, Jaden, is this a yes? Yeah, sure. Are you attracted yes. to her, Jaden? Do you think there's a future? Huh? Do you think there's a future with her? Maybe. And so, Wow. Oh, wow. And so, so you think she's pretty as well? She's all right. Oh, he's shy, but he does. He's shy, but he does. He's so beautiful. We've set up love. (laughs) We have love makers. Imagine if they got married, bro, eh? Wow. Fuck it. And had a f***ing kid, and it was all f***ed up. (laughs) 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 Yeah. (laughs) Ruining lives. Jaden, that is the best news ever that you're going to go on a date with Taya. Um, Give us... 
Because so well, send us a photo yeah. of you guys together. Yeah, basically, go on the date with her. She's gonna message you now. We'll tell her it's a success. She's gonna ask you out. What then, day? What day are you guys gonna go on the date? This weekend? Whenever you book it, you plan. Okay, it. this oh, weekend. We got to call Taya. This Saturday. All right, Bro. all right, done. Yeah, should we book their date? Should we yep. literally right, yeah, plan? Yeah, Jaden, you yep. live it with us. We'll f***ing sort it out. All right. Right. All right, we'll call Taya and then she'll let you know what the date is. All good. All right, well done, man. See you, dude. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you for listening to the podcast. You're a legend. Always, man. (laughs) Thanks, Jaden. Thanks, dude. Oh, wow. Hurrah, hurrah. Oh, wow. Let's quickly call her and let her give us some good news. God, it's so hard to breathe and you're trying to talk so quick. I don't know how you do that when you're on the prank call. Breathe. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) So what do you do? I can't believe we just created love. Do you want to call Taya? Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Taya. It's Marty, Michael, Matt and James. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, look, we're not too bad. Um, we called your that Jaden and um, we were pretty confident going into it, but he kind of like freaked out and was like, um, you know, saying that, no, he he's, doesn't want to go on a date and he's kind of like was like really weird about it. Mm. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I hope we didn't like fucking anything up. No, I'm kidding. He oh, said yes. He said yes. He said yes. He said yes. He said yes, Taya. And he said he thinks you're really pretty and he thinks there could be a future with you. He's not going to use the. Yes, yeah, I you guys asked are going on a date. We asked him specifically and he was like, yeah, and, you know, we're like, oh, do you think she's pretty? He's like, yeah. You know, being all shy and shit, it was cute ass. Yeah, we, we found out know. some like closer details if you want to know them, but we might leave it to you guys. We won't force them on you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let him force you into anything that you don't want to do, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I won't. All right. Well, let's w- what day do you want to do this date on Saturday? Let's let's tee this up soon. Oh, uh, yeah, we could. Wow. All right. Well, good on you. Thanks for listening and for texting in Tay. You're an absolute legend and we hope you get married to him and that he treats you with love and respect. Call your first kid Brown. Brown. No, Brown. don't do that. It'll ruin its life. All right, Taya, thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. We and there you it. have it, everyone. Wow. So if you need Brown to get you a date or to call someone, deliver any kind of news, text us in on 04666 02303 and we'll make that shit happen, bitch. We're one from one. Fuck yeah, it's a good service. It is a great service. And I'm so want, glad that I'm worked. happy to deliver bad news too. Yeah, you so really want big that. Big news, big range. It's good yeah. and bad. I, I, I would like to see that. <laughs> I'd love I to feel like he'd be very cold and like... Oh, yeah. I'd love him. I'd love him to fucking... Fire someone? Fire someone. Yeah, same. Man, <laughs> if you need to fire someone... Yeah, please. <laughs> Matt's your man. <laughs> please, if you need to fire anyone, please let Matt do it. It's got to be real though. Anything. We want variety. So just if you got an idea, put yeah. it this way. Yeah. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give us a five star review on spotify we need to keep this ball going okay this podcast means everything to us so yeah. please um, engage give us a five star review please please is there us. anything the guys can do to get to notifications for youtube if they're not getting them yeah so our, currently our youtube channel is demonetized not because of bad content but because they need to verify something in our adsense account so because it's not monetized it's not getting recommended to anyone so please turn on post notifications so you are told when the fuck podcast comes out man it's important we need your help okay anyway we need you man help. we're the we're f-ing f-ing best man. we are the best we we're are the f- best, best. We're, the best. F- we're the best we're the best we're the best we're the best so glad tinder's back sick